Hello, welcome to another uh, Meme Meister ramble. Um, I've not done many of these uh, sort of pointing the camera at your face and talk shite things. Um, I mean, primarily I started this channel just to uh, to basically play play shit, shit games for 10 minutes and have a laugh while doing it. Um, I mean, I've been doing this channel now for, I'm trying to think, you know what, I don't actually know how long I've been doing this thing for. I've been doing it for maybe four or five months, something like that. Um, and it's like anything that you first start doing, you know, you, you, you set out with a sort of a aim, a purpose, a target, a destination, if you will. Um, but then the, the more you actually do it, you start to kind of realise what works, what doesn't work. Um, and I've found it's the same with doing this YouTube thing. I mean, I don't, as I said, I don't do it for, uh, I'm not doing it to to get thousands of subscribers, it's never it's never going to come to that. Um, I do it because I enjoy I enjoy it. I mean, I love video games, I love uh, retro video games, etc. Um, and doing this kind of thing is just another kind of side to my uh, my hobby of uh, gaming. But anyway, yeah. So through time, I've realised you know it's a bit kind of restricting. Uh, I'm restricting myself and obviously making it a bit boring for other people to actually watch these things if I'm concentrating purely on just playing little games for 10 minutes. So, you know, it's nice to kind of uh, get involved in other things. And uh, Lawn Boys post-1975 about the emulation thing, I quite enjoyed doing a wee video response thing to that. Um, but that kind of got me thinking of something else. Now, I'm, uh, I'm a bit of an old bugger. I'm probably one of the oldest uh, retro gamers. I'm 46 years old. I know I don't look a day over uh, <coughs> 30, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I've. When you start getting a bit older, you do start becoming more aware that you've probably had more time on Earth than you've got left. I know that's a bit of a, a morbid subject, but that's reality. We're all going to go at some point. And I'm, you know, I, I love my life. I love what I do. I've got my gaming, I've got my family, I've got my running, etc. I really enjoy my life. But I'm kind of conscious of. You know, there's not enough time left to do everything that I want to do. Now that kind of, uh, part of that, I'm looking up because I'm looking at all these games. My retro collection, um, I've got a lot of stuff, and com compared to a lot of people, my collection's pretty small. I don't have, I've got a lot of machines. Um, a lot of the machines I use, the sort of more up-to-date kind of uh, ways to play games, i.e. SD kind of compact flash cards. Um, cartridges, um, like your ever drives and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I don't have the biggest collection of games, um, you know. And, and when I compare myself to some people, but uh, saying that, one thing that that kind of goes through my mind when I'm picking up something else or more games is, I think to myself, when am I actually going to get a chance to play that? I mean, like most people, we've got busy lives, we've got jobs. You know, if we're lucky, we've got a job. We've, We've got our, our family, you know. I, I, although I've got my obsession as far as games and running and that kind of thing goes, I do know that you know that's that's a hobby, uh, and you know your family etc has to come first. Your work obviously has to come first because that pays the mortgage, it puts uh, food on the table for your kids and that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, you know, gaming's always just going to be a hobby, but um, I'm conscious that you know I've not got. I mean, I don't know how many games I've got. If I was to count ROMs or, you know, an emulator, emulators and that kind of stuff, you know, I've probably got tens of thousands of games, which is just ridiculous. Um, but it kind of struck me that I've not got... I couldn't possibly play every single game. I mean, I've got... I don't know how many. I'm not even going to attempt to look at the point of the camera. Up there, I've probably got 50 or 60 Xbox games. Sorry, Xbox 360 games. I've got hundreds of Xbox games, PlayStation 2 games. I've simply not got enough time to actually play all these things. You know, <laughs> it's just not possible. And there's only so many hours in the day, etc. So anyway, the point I'm kind of coming to here is, uh, at what point does a hobby, or what point does collecting games become too much? Um, I mean, I've, I've got a couple of guys that I know, a couple of mates that I know, and I've got, it makes my, my retro collection look pitiful. These guys have got thousands and thousands of original games. 
Now I see I, I see uh, YouTube channels with, with people getting pickups and games. I've got this, I've got that, I've got hundreds and hundreds of games. And you think to yourself, at least I think to myself, when are you going to play them? Now at what point does, you know, it stops becoming an obsession and it gets to the point that it becomes a bit, a bit silly? Because what is the purpose of having all these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games that you're simply not going to get a chance to play? Um, and that's the, the reality. You're not, you know, you're, you're just not going to, you've, you've only got so much time. And all these games, I mean, I, I, I kind of laugh when I hear people on YouTube making comments that they've got this, they've got that, they've got this, they've got that. You know, they've, they've never opened this game that they got five years ago. And, you know, what's the point of it? It's just an utter... I'm just looking, there's a spider walking about in the wall there. Just a tiny, one of these wee... One of these little uh, jumping spiders. You can steal by there anyway. Um, so yeah, it just it gets to the point. It's like what a waste of money. Now, furthermore, and again, this is this is me getting quite somber or getting quite morbid. I'm conscious that when I eventually um, shuffle, when I eventually lose my last life and shuffle off to the the, the great arcade in the sky, um, all this stuff around me. I mean, I'm looking about here. I've just got a ridiculous amount of stuff. My wife is going to probably say, right. We can get that room cleared out. Um, what's going to happen to all this stuff now? My daughter, um, bless her, she enjoys coming in here. We'll sit and we'll play through games together. But the majority of stuff in here, I mean, I've got things like ID, so not IDE. I've got like SD adapters for the Spectrum. It costs me 80 quid. She's going to look at them and think, what on earth is that? That can go in the bin. You know what I mean? There's <laughs> When I go, I'll guarantee that 99% of the stuff's probably going to get horsed in a skip. Um, which is which is a bit sad because to anyone out with a retro gamer like myself and and people watching this video probably this doesn't matter at all. It doesn't mean anything at all. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I, I just I do sometimes. I mean, I don't I don't tell myself a collector. I'm not a collector. I'm a I'm a person who enjoys video games, whether it's on the ZX81 whether it's on my PlayStation 4, whether it's on my iPhone, whatever. I enjoy video games, end off. Um, and I buy machines, games, etc. to allow me to enjoy the games. Um, I'm really, I'm not a collector. And I do kind of wonder why, you know, there's, there's, there's guys on YouTube that have got their entire houses devoted to collections now. When you when you surpass I don't know a couple of thousand games, what is the point of it? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I hope I'm not staying, uh, stepping on any toes or upsetting anybody with these comments. But I just I do wonder what is the point of having thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of games? You know, if you want to, I mean, in the in the sort of uh, the. The eighties and nineties when I had my Amiga, I mean, like a lot of people had a lot of sort of uh, a lot of games. You would copy games, and you would, you know, you would copy ten games. You, you know, at the weekend you'd go to your mates' house, you'd copy games, and copy, 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 and it got to a point. It's like the old PlayStation PlayStation syndrome. Everybody that you knew had their PlayStation chipped, and everybody had hundreds of games. And what happens is, the more games you've got, the less games you actually play. Because you, you get a game, you get a copy of a game, you put it in, fire it up, up comes the loading screen, you switch it off, put the disc into a, one of these folders that holds like 200 discs, and you never play it. So yeah, I just, uh, I just, I don't, as much as I appreciate people like collections, I personally don't, I don't personally get why they would want to spend a shitload of money and games and games and games that they're simply never ever ever going to play. Um, I mean, believe you me, I've got. Uh, fortunately, I've I've now kind of, I've pretty much got every kind of console, handheld etc. that I wanted. Uh, I mean, last year I bought a shitload of stuff. Um, I joined uh, a local uh, retro computer club, which I think I've kind of linked in the past in Edinburgh. And of course, when you go along there and you see other guys' collections, a guy had a Virtual Boy and all these kind of things, you see all these fantastic bits of hardware and you think, oh, I'm going to get that. 
So last year I spent a stupid amount of money, you know, on hardware. Really went over the top and, you know, it got to the point I'm like, enough's enough. So then when we came into this year I thought, there isn't anything that I want, there's really no hardware that I've got. I've got everything that I'm, I'm ever lately, uh, lately uh, going to pick up. However, that didn't quite work out like that. Um, I got a chance off my Virtual Boy up there, bought it. Um, got a 32X, bought it. So, yeah, I've still spent quite a bit um, you know, of, of cash on hardware, etc. Um, but I am really am at the point now where I don't really want anything else and I don't particularly want to buy anything else. Um, I mean, I used to have, I mean, I've got a, I've probably got more stuff up my loft than I've actually got in my games room here. Um, but I've got duplicates. Now, maybe you could call me a bit of an obsessive. Um, I've got a lot of duplicate um, hardware. I've got, I think I've got four or five mega drives. I've got umpteen spectrums. I've got every every version of the spectrum going, you know, whatever. I've got umpteen Commodore 64s. I've picked them up, you know, over various... Uh, over a sort of very sick any timeline, but I like to have like any hardware. It's not going to last forever, so I like to have a spare. You know, I mean, the Commodore is my favourite machine. If that broke, then I can just bring another one down out the attic or out my loft, and uh, I'm away, up and running again. Pardon me. So yeah, I don't mind having spares, but in the main, excuse me, in the main, um, all my hardware that I've got is connected up down here. So I can actually use it. I just simply don't see the point of buying stuff, and whether it sits on a shelf and not getting used, or sits on a loft and not getting used, to me that's just a complete waste of money. And I'm sure you guys are like, or I'm like a lot of you guys. Every now and again, you just think to yourself, "Have I, you know, what am I doing? I've got all this stuff. I mean, I, I would hate to think." You know, my, the, the, I don't have anything specifically or particularly expensive. I mean, things like the Virtual Boy, I don't know, it's worth maybe £100 or so. I've got a Vectrex and that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I've still, the, my total collection must run into several thousand pounds. And every now and again, um, you think, I, I sometimes think to myself, especially after I've just bought something else, I think, have I gone too far? Do I really want all this stuff? Because, too much, too much of something. Um, it can, you know, it can be too much. Too much of a good thing ends up having the opposite effect. You end up not using it, and you think to yourself, "Could I make the use of the money?" Um, or you know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to uh, hear your comments, guys. Is is there such a thing as having too many games, too many consoles? At what point does it? Does it border on ridiculous? Because we're all here for a finite number of days on this earth, and you simply you're not going to get a chance to play all your games. Um, so, is there any point in continually picking up games after games after games? Um, like I said, you see some people on YouTube, and I kind of have a, a, a little wry smell to myself when I when I see all these pickups. You know, every week they're picking up another 10 games and they're wanting to play this and they're wanting to play that and you think to yourself, you're never going to play them. What is the point of having all these thousands of games that you're never going to play? You're spending all this money. By all means, if you decide that you want to, you want, you've really got this, uh, got this urge to play Streets of Rage 3, then go on to eBay and buy it. You know, and that's why, I mean, kind of current games, I mean, I was... Like most people, um, you know, you'd rush out, you'd buy the latest Xbox 360 game, and then you never even played it. I mean, I bought, it wasn't the latest Grand Theft Auto, well, but although I do have that, which is a great game, it was one before Grand Theft Auto 4, I think it was. I bought that, £45 or something, um, and I played it for a couple of hours, and then it sat on the shelf, and it sat there, and it sat there, and it sat there, until about a couple of months later I thought that is sitting there depreciating in value get rid of it so I sold it for like 30 quid I've actually got my money back in it I picked it up about 6 months later for a fiver so I will no longer buy a current game um, unless I'm specifically going to play it there and then because the number of people that you hear talking about they've got you know 20 odd 30 games for their, their, their PS3 all shrink wrapped, 
sitting on a shelf, doing nothing. They've probably spent a good couple of hundred pounds on all these all these machines. And to me, you know, I just think it's a complete waste of money. So anyway guys, uh, it'd be interesting to hear uh, your comments. Is, a, is it possible to have too much, too many consoles, too many computers, too many games? Um, I personally think it is. I think it is possible to have far too much. Because the more you have, the more likelihood you're not going to play them. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please uh, ping any comments at the bottom. And uh, it'd be great to hear if anybody wants to make a video response to this. And we'll, uh, I'll uh, look forward to speaking to you again. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.